In part 3, we're going to take a quick look at an entrance animation and then two types of motion paths. Okay, to add animations, we click on the Animations tab, Custom Animations. That opens the Custom Animation panel on the right. We make sure the object is selected. We go to Add Effect, and we're going to make something with an entrance, and uh, we're choosing Faded Zoom for our entrance. As you can see there, my choices are to start on click, start with previous, or start after previous. Starting on click, it gives me the ability to control it precisely in connection with my narration. On your animation speeds, please select either fast or very fast. Uh, unless you've got a good reason to make a speed something other than fast or very fast, please choose those two speeds only. Otherwise, it is amateurish and it makes people say, gee, could you just get on with it, <laughs> please? Okay, so there's our first image. Now, the other thing that you saw going on on this page were jumpers. Because uh, this is flash paper, I went with the theme of Jumping Jack Flash, and I put in some different jumping figures. So let's go get some images of jumpers. Uh, I like to use Google Image Search. I just type in jumper, and we do want PNGs, because remember, if it's not PNG, it's not going to blend in with the background of your slide. Uh, JPEGs have a white background and that will obscure what is behind them. We want transparency. So we are looking specifically for PNGs. Okay, there's a kind of futuristic person. Let's get somebody resembling more the people we saw earlier. Okay, here's a jumping girl who uh, looks similar to the kinds of figures we were using. Open that in a new window. We click on the full size image. Although I, I, you can look at it and tell 38K uh, PNG that it's going to be adequate for our needs. So let's go ahead and save it to our production folder, which I'm calling uh, PowerPoint Anime Animation. Close everything out. Now let's import or insert that image onto our design. We click on Insert, Picture. Now let's go get it, click and select it, and then insert it. And there she is. Now she's going to be coming in off screen. Notice that I'm, I'm using my align tools there by putting her exactly in the middle. Uh, her head, not the box she's in. So she's going to be coming in off screen. I'm going to reduce the screen size and notice how I drag her off screen because that's how she's going to have to come in. And now we're going to add uh, animation. Click on animation tab, opens the animation panel. We add effect and you want motion path. Here are all your different kinds of, let me move this so you can see these selections better. Here are all your different kinds of motion paths. Diagonal, down, left, right, and up. All we need in this case is a straightforward up and down motion. So let's go ahead and select down, or up, excuse me. Select up. Okay, there she is. She looks good. Looks like she's coming in where she's supposed to. Now we select the motion path there, the little uh, sizing tool, and we drag it up. The red means where she's going to stop. The green arrow means where she begins. Okay, so she's going up, and there her fingertips almost touch the top of the screen. That's exactly where we want her. And we want her coming in before our flash paper, so let's move her up there. Okay, so that looks good. We got her jumping in on click. Let's uh, get her back down now. Now we select down. And and what goes up must come down so we drag the stop button notice there's a green arrow now on top of the red up on top and way back down so that she's off the page so now she can jump up and that's one motion path and then she will jump back down and that is a second motion path and since we want them to happen uh, immediately uh, we're going to uh, select happen immediately after the first one. Over here on picture number two, we select start after previous. 
and so it's going to happen immediately instantly after the first one is finished we click on effect options to make sure that there's no delay whatsoever we take off smooth start and smooth in these are jumping people after all they're not glider planes we click on timing and uh, we're going to make her well let's try fast first these timings you kind of have to do by the length of the motion path so let's see how fast does fast is a little slow uh, that means we're going to have to go to very fast because of the length of the motion path there you go yeah that works because of the length of the motion path we had to adjust from medium to fast if it's a short uh, motion path a medium could have been okay maybe uh, with these motion paths you just have to play it to uh, to know for sure that you're getting the right speed okay let's pretend like we've got another person jumping in this time we're going to uh, select diagonal down motion path there it is it played it automatically we select the red arrow which is where we want her to stop and we're going to drag that all the way off the edge of the screen let's go ahead and line it up with the corners so that she comes out directly at the bottom right corner after coming in at precisely the upper left corner uh, we've got her on uh, fast now a oh, little bit too fast so uh, we're going to have to go to medium on this one. First one, that's good. Second one, well, we got to put her in front of that flash paper again. But the second one, uh, actually, that was okay on that on that fast, wasn't it? Let's try it again. Up, down, and across. Well, maybe a little little too fast. Let's put her. Uh, let's put her to medium, and I think yeah, there you go. That'll that way now the two speeds look the same up and down diagonal although they are set on two different speeds one is set on fast and one is set on medium because of the length of the motion path uh, the longer the motion path the slower the speed has to be otherwise PowerPoint is going to uh, try to complete that entire motion path uh, at a standard speed which is one second okay let's put in this jumper up on top now this is the one who's going to be doing the bungee jumping and I'm going to put her in so that um, I can show you a, uh, a uh, custom motion path first we're going to flip her upside down like the other people were and that's done with the rotate tool on the format picture ribbon okay this time when we select motion paths we're going to select the draw custom this gives you a tool so that you can draw any path that you want so a bungee jumper let's see they jump and then they go way way down to their furthest point down then they bounce back up to about three quarters of what it was then they go back down to about three quarters back up to three quarters minus again and so you get the idea they slow the speed but then we got to take her off okay so there's our custom path let's see what kind of speed we need oh, she's behind the flash paper I shouldn't have put that in first I was trying to show you the easy thing first okay up from the bottom diagonal let's see how the bungee jumper oh way too fast see how we're, go we're gonna have to slow her down because that motion path is so long we got to slow her down and that way she'll look in this she'll look be like she's going at the same speed as the other one so let's try it again up and down diagonal now bungee jump okay not too bad a little bit too fast 